My name is Caleb, and I created a service that draws your conversations in real time. What the frick is that? <laughs> Stable Diffusion took the internet by storm when it was released. There was a lot of noise online, especially on Reddit, of people trying to learn to code and run it offline on their machines so that they can generate images of anime girls. I mean, art. Stable Diffusion generates images based on a text prompt you provide. For example, a beautiful castle beside a waterfall in the woods by Joseph Toma. Matt painting, trending on ArtStation HQ. Most people are using prompt engineering guides online in order to manually put together a prompt that will generate a decent looking image. You can get good results by handcrafting prompts like this, but I wanted to take a different angle. Instead of individually crafting prompts to create my perfect anime girl, I wanted Stable Diffusion to draw representations of conversations in real time. The core of the idea being, as a conversation is taking place, the essence of what is being said is captured in images in real time. For example, the images on my monitors behind me were generated with my code using literally the words I'm saying right now and will keep updating throughout the rest of the video. In order for Stable Diffusion to generate my perfect anime girl, it needs a well-engineered text prompt. You could probably guess this idea needs some form of voice to text in order to transcribe conversations into a text prompt, which can be fed into Stable Diffusion. Coincidentally, OpenAI just open sourced Whisper, a state-of-the-art speech recognition model, which gave me the best results in transcribing conversations to text, which my code can work with. So I built a server which waits for requests to come in containing audio, processes the audio, and returns the transcribed conversation. I hosted this transcription capability behind an endpoint so that I could transcribe from a couple of different front ends. First, I built an Android app which records audio and sends it to the server over and over for transcription until it gets enough meaningful words to work with for generating an image. Once the app has enough words, it sends the conversation back to the server, but this time to a different endpoint containing stable diffusion, where it will generate an image. However, I found very quickly that you can't just pass a raw conversation into stable diffusion. There's too much noise and non-illustrative words in a conversation, which stable diffusion does not know what to do with. If you think about conversations, they usually aren't visually descriptive. You typically aren't describing a picturesque sunset with colors and descriptors. So I added some prompt engineering steps before it gets passed into Stable Diffusion to inject color as well as shape the conversation into something that looks more like a handcrafted prompt that Stable Diffusion can produce a meaningful image with. Here's an example of that same conversation, but this time having been processed by my prompt engineering logic. It much better illustrates the subject matter of the conversation. This process includes a number of NLP techniques, including text summarization and sentiment analysis, injection of positive, neutral, and negatively charged adjectives into the prompt based on the sentiment, as well as some other tricks to automatedly craft a flavored prompt, which represents the conversation. It's a big sentence. I'll include a link to my code, and you can check that out if you want over at calebolson.com. Start over. Over at calebolson.com. I won't dive into the details further here. Let's just see it in action. Yo, what is the corner? It's gross. <laughs> Six or four. Most wow. of the time it's really creepy. I also made a Discord bot which functions in the same way the Android app does, capturing audio, generating images, and posting them to the Discord chat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Red and fluff. <laughs> he looks like a thick Joe Rogan. Yeah, that was, that was my first thought. thought. There isn't much function or utility to this idea. It's mostly just fun to have running in my living room or in Discord with the boys. I had thoughts to extend this further in different directions, like a daily diary tool which predicts what your surroundings look like based on your audio and other inputs, and backs up the images it creates throughout the day into albums. Or another idea is a visual meeting notes bot. Go to calebolson.com for links to my code. It should be pretty easy to interface with through whatever front end you come up with. 
Here I made a mobile app and a Discord bot, but there may be more clever audio sources that could be tapped into and janky art to be generated. Thanks for watching.